Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this game that I'm playing. We've already reached the end and we haven't found a thing. Damn it! Where the hell is this secret supposed to be? We don't even know what we're looking for, do we? How the hell is this supposed to work? Calm down, Karikaro. It's all right. I need you to be patient. I guess even if we do finish looking around here, we still have more to do. There were two more temples, right? I refuse to be stuck in here for days. Hey, Charlotta. Are you really sure the thing we're looking for is gonna be here? I already told you. I don't know. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I knew it! You've been lying to us, haven't you? You sure are angry. Do you need a cookie break or something? What? Are you making fun of me? Karikaro, what is it? Why are you so upset? Damn it. I'm sorry. Being in the dark like this really does something to my head. I just hate it. Let's hurry up and find the thing so we can get out of here already. Karikaro! It's too dangerous out here to run off! My, my. I must have angered her. Charlotta, why do you always have to provoke her like that? Can't you just be... nice? Excuse you. I'm just being myself. Come on, that's no excuse. It's more than that. She does seem very irritated lately, doesn't she? It's because she's been in this dark place a little too long, right? Once she gets out of here, I'm sure she'll feel better. No, I think it's... <sighs> Never mind. Huh? If you ask me, it seems like she's afraid of something. And it's causing her to feel a little unstable. Kari Kar was afraid of something? What could that be? Wait, I sent something. What is it? I think it's a dragon, and it's close. Whatever it is, it's really powerful and coming from back there. It's coming from where those two went. Let's go! <sighs> it really was a dragon. Yeah, and the power I'm sensing. This is stronger than any dragon we've seen so far. Maybe it's been living in this temple for a long time. What? It's talking! corpse to unlock the secret what why are you keeping things from us it's coming I don't think we have the time for a conversation right now I really wish we did I want answers but let's beat this thing first
mighty. Don't underestimate me. My turn.
I'm on guard. You're too late. Leave it to me. I'm on guard! Too late! I'll do my best. It's mine! Ooh. The dragon inside me! Try not to fall! Easy! That wasn't so bad. Phew, we defeated it somehow. Is everyone okay? Yes, I'm fine. This was my first time ever fighting a dragon this powerful. Me too, but we're done for now. Charlotta, can you explain what you were talking about before the battle? Right, I think the dragon we just defeated was this temple's guardian dragon. What's a guardian dragon? Supposedly the guardian dragons of the star temples are here as a trial. I see, so running into a guardian dragon here, does that mean we're closer to what we're looking for? You idiot, why were you keeping important information like this to yourself? Well, I wasn't sure if any of this was even real. What if I told you about it and then we never ran into a guardian? You just called me a liar. <sighs> Harry Caro, please calm down. Oh, look, there's a room back there. Finally, we can find what we came for. That took long enough. Hold on, we're not, we're not done talking here. Charlotta, earlier you mentioned we'd need the dragon's corpse, right? What did you mean? Yeah, and I'm still confused that the dragon was speaking. I didn't hear what it said, but it's been living a very long time. Who did you think talking was just part of its evolutionary process? And to answer your question, Minessa, we need its corpse to pass through the barrier. There's a barrier? Yes, there's a barrier in the back of the temple from what I understand. In order to pass through it safely, we need to use really strong magic. What kind of magic? How is this corpse supposed to help us with that? Did you forget? We're witches. Don't tell me. Yep, we need to eat the guardian to absorb its powers. Doing that will nullify the barrier. I see. I understand now. What happens if we try to go through it without eating the guardian? Is the barrier strong enough to keep us out? Haha, <laughs> yes, it is. The average won't be able to endure it at all. But as witches would experience... But as witches would experience the most horrific results. What happens? Can't you figure it out? We'll go mad. What? So, it would cause the curse to progress rapidly. That could be dangerous for, for us witches. That's right. The witches have dragon powers inside them. They are tormented by a looming madness. So they can either choose to go mad or to become a dragon. There's no happy ending here. Just a terrible fate. Which is also something I'll have to face. You think the dragon's flash is the only way to be able to nullify the barrier. But the dragon is too powerful for me to defeat on my own. That's why you wanted us to come with you. You were looking for people who would be able to battle the dragon with you, right? Yes, exactly. So now? Hey, we have to eat the dragon? Right, we don't have any other options. Oh my, what is it now? Were you planning on waiting here? No, I wasn't. Fine, I'll eat it. Eh. Phew, now we can get going. For a dragon living somewhere so remote, it was really powerful. It would have been nice if we were able to make a proper dish out of it. Preparing it like this uh, just after killing it is kind of grossing me out. Well, thanks to Karakaro, it tasted better than anything I could have done. Yes, it was very helpful that you were able to start the fire too. Seeing it gave it a little char. That's always nice. Karikaro, what's the matter? Oh no, it's nothing. Are you sure? She seems tense. Alright, so are we ready now? Yes, I'm sure the barrier can stop us now. Let's go everyone. We were able to pass through safely. Uh, <coughs> it's really dusty. Is this where the secret is supposed to be hidden? Let's split up and look for it. There's a bookshelf here. All of these books are so old. This temple was probably built centuries ago. 
It's incredible that a temple like this hasn't been under the Empire's radar. So, did you find anything? No, I can't find anything suspicious. Did you find anything? Actually, I think I found something interesting. Here, take a look. Is that a dragon statue? I think it is. It looks incredible, doesn't it? Is this dragon what this temple was created to worship? If the Holy Empire was really using this place, that can't be right. But, you know, there must have been people that started using this temple after the Empire abandoned it. Oh, check this out. It looks so old. I am not sure if it will still make sound. Whoa, what's that? A whistle? Supposedly, it's an ancient musical instrument. If there was a dragon enshrined here, maybe there was a song they used to worship it. It's so worn out, but it still works. I see. Wow, you really know your stuff. Did you read up about this before? No, I really don't know that much. Hey, what are you guys doing? Stop messing around. Did you find anything? Well, we didn't really find anything that seems to be what we came for. Yeah, me neither. I did find some ancient transcripts, but they don't seem very helpful. All we know is that this place, uh, sorry, that this was a place of worship, and the people here worship dragons. Damn it. You worked so hard to get here and didn't find a damn thing. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, don't make a scene. There might be other dragons lurking around here. Shut up! Watch it, the bookshelf. Whoa! Well, ah, I thought I was gonna get squashed. Hey, we're not supposed to be breaking anything. Hmm, what's that? There's something behind the bookshelf. What? Alright, I got it. What is it? Oh, it's just an old book. Seems like it fell behind the bookshelf at some point and was forgotten here for a long time. Can you read it? The binding on it seems really nice. Maybe it will give us a clue. Karikaro, let me see. Sure. It's moldy and dirty, but I'll try to read it. Born, holy dragon. We worship uh, ma magic. Oh, it's no use. It's too worn out. I can't read it. Amazing such an old book remained intact. Maybe there's information in there about the dragons. It might come in handy later. Let's take it with us for now. There's nothing else here. I guess that's all we'll get out of it for now. Seriously? We come this far and that's it? Karikaro, don't let it get to you. This doesn't mean it's over. Yeah, I know, but... We didn't know what we'd find when we came here, you know? There are two more temples. We can only hope the secrets we're looking for are hidden there. Yeah, I don't think we'll find anything else here. I think we should leave now. Well, let's hurry up and go already. My, my, and here I thought you'd throw a fit and storm off towards home. I wish I could, but if I quit now, all of our effort would have been pointless. Heh <laughs> heh, I see. So, are we going to the next place? That might be a good idea, but, it has, but this has taken a lot more time than I anticipated. I'm worried about the girls. I don't mind heading back for now. The temples aren't going anywhere. Got it. Then let's head back for now. We can start preparing for our next journey. Did it rain while we were in the temple? It's really muddy. The mud is going to dirty my clothes. Oh, but don't worry about me. I'd never dream of you carrying me. Who said I was worried? Well, you can't say I didn't try. You know. Oh! Watch out! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Yellow eyes. Is something wrong? No! Whoa, Laponet, what's up? Don't come near me. Please don't come any closer. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, are you really okay? What's going on? Laponet almost fell, so I tried to help her, but... Don't tell me he tried to do something to you, Laponet. Hey, what is it? He did something? He did, didn't he? Alright, let's kill him. Don't be stupid, I didn't do anything. No, Karikaro, I'm fine. I just got dizzy. Oh, I see. That's too bad. Why are you clicking your thumb? I'm just glad no one's hurt. Let's go. Okay, I'm sorry. 
What just happened? It seems like she's afraid of something. Oh nice, we found a clearing. Great, the sun's starting to set, so we should sleep here tonight. I'll go gather some wood. Charlotta, can you help me? Ah, this when I was trying to run for it. I guess you caught me. Oh well. Yes, give it up. We're heading out for a bit, everyone. Careful out there. Now, let's make something yummy. Karkara seems like she's in a much better mood now that we're not in the temple. I should help set up camp. Hey, newbie. Me? You listening, Zephy? I'm talking to you. What? You were talking to me? What other newbie would I be talking to? Well, Charlotta did join after I did. Just shut up and go get me some herbs. So there By myself? I'm cooking here and Laponet's going to help me, so yeah. Right, Laponet? Huh? Yes, right. Is that too much, too much to ask for you, princess? Of course not, but whatever. Fine, I'll go. I don't sense any dragons nearby. This should be fine. Oh crap, I didn't even ask her what herbs I should get. If I go back now, I won't hear the end of it, but what other choice do I have? Hmm, something's coming. I'm sorry, did I startle you? Oh hey, what's wrong, Laponet? Why did you come out here? Um, I told you, Karikara. I told Karikara that I would come help you look for herbs. I figured I knew a little more about plants. You know, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for out here. I'll take whatever help I can get. Eh, <laughs> really? Karikara can be a little hasty sometimes. Okay, let's go. Hey, that's a good one. That's Karikara's favorite herb to cook with. Oh cool, I wouldn't have guessed you could cook with that one. They all just look like plants to me. Even if we set out on a journey, she wants to make sure we have good food to eat. She can be a little particular about what she cooks with. I understand. It feels nice when you're treated with a delicious meal. It can really help sometimes. Hmm, something the matter? Oh no, it's nothing. Sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to push you away. You don't need to be sorry. It's just you were acting kind of... Strange. You got a little worried. Right. Well, what happened was, I saw something. The next thing I know, I'm losing my sense of composure and... Yeah. You say something? What was it? I saw your future. You saw my future, but... Wait, that's right. She's clairvoyant. I've told you, haven't I? About my abilities. Right, yeah. You've said that when you see a dragon, you're able to see the witch it used to be. You can see their memories too, right? And I think you also mentioned... Yes, that other thing. When I touch someone, I see their future. As tragic as it can be, even if I don't want to. As you know, us witches only have two options in this life. We go mad or we become dragons. That's the only future that we have. What I've seen so far, these terrible fates of the witches, my friend. No matter how I try to fight it, no matter how much I tell them, I won't ever be able to change the outcome. Every time I encounter a dragon, I get scared. I'm, I'm scared of it being someone I knew. Someone that I wasn't, wasn't able to save. Wow, Laponet's always so down. This is probably why. I see things I just don't want to see. All I can do is watch. I can't fix anything. There's nothing I can do to solve the problem. I don't know why I was born with this power. When you touched me earlier, you, you saw what's going to happen to me. Yes. Will you, will you tell me what you saw? What? Well... My life, everything I knew, it was all turned upside down pretty recently. You already know that. I'd like to be prepared for whatever's coming. Don't worry. I can handle it. Okay. I saw you right before you were murdered. Yes. You were being choked and you looked like you were in a massive amount of pain. Oh, and I think you were in the wilderness. Were you able to see who was choking me? I couldn't see that part. All I saw was a hand. It looked thin and pale. I would assume it was the hand of a woman. So in the future, a woman's gonna choke me out somewhere in the wilderness. Not a good future. I don't think the captain would kill me on the spot. She'd tie me up and take me to the Empire to torture me. What's the captain's name again? Oh yeah, I think it's Corbera or whatever. Anyway, I have no idea who it could be. I just need to be careful. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you. I don't want it to happen. Thanks, Laponet. Huh? 
I'll at least be prepared na for whatever happens. Uh, I don't think your fate will change, even if you can dodge what I saw in the end. Uh, wanna bet? I know what the future holds. I'll be able to change it somehow. I know it. I'm really thankful for you. Dot dot dot. What's wrong? No one's ever said that to me before. People shun me because of these ominous things I would say. I don't want to give up so easily. I want to survive and prove to you that your power isn't a waste, that it can help people. This is a little funny, isn't it? I tell you your sad future and now you're the one trying to cheer me up. Haha, <laughs> I know right? I'm just glad. I thought I might have offended you back there. I really was just trying to support you as you fell. It was sudden and I just reacted, but maybe it was rude of me to do that. Huh? No, not at all. I don't think so. Heh, you really are a strange one. But how do, how do you mean? Zephy, the first man to become a witch. I always put up my guard around you. You're a man. But I guess I didn't need to worry. I find myself feeling glad that you're a part of our group. I appreciate that, Laponet. We would have been enemies in the past, and here she is, trust, trusting me. What an odd fate. I find myself feeling glad I jo joined their group too. It's almost unbelievable I don't see them as my enemies anymore. Whoa, we should head back soon. Kari Kari's gonna get upset if we take any longer. Yes, you're absolutely right. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Peace. I am out. Wipe them out!